So welcome back, everyone who is uh, coming back and everyone who's new, welcome as well. It's good to have you. <coughs> We're growing, so hopefully it's because of you're all spreading the love. I think at last, we're over 50 <coughs> members now, so yeah, it's good, I'm happy with that. It should be good. Now what we have here is our lovely F-sharp logo, and um, this is purple, but we have a really bad projector that we're having to deal with today, and uh, it looks a bit blue. So this is the start of how we're hoping to run things, and we'll see how it goes, but we're going to um, each, each month we'll have a, a small news section, which I'm doing today. Um, just what's happened in the world of F-sharp or any meet-up business um, that we have to deal with uh, in the last month. Then we'll have a small lightning talk, which um, today will be delivered by George. Um, but it's a great opportunity to take anywhere from like 5 to 15 minutes, um, share something you know or love or have found out about F-Sharp. It can be how to use the Try F-Sharp website if you're just starting out. Um, we'd love to see that. There are lots of people with lots of varied skills. Or it could be some awesome crazy monad that you've, <laughs> you've developed yourself or you know you can explain the way um, yeah, Link in F-Sharp works and why um, the creator of Haskell thinks we did it better than them. I was at that talk for that. It was, it was recently tweeted around by Don, creator of F-Sharp, so that's good reason to stick with F-Sharp. So, to start our news, we have a logo now. Um, you may have seen it up on Twitter. This is what you'll see. If it doesn't quite make sense, this is the idea is that these are the um, Sydney Opera House. <laughs> and they are also just slightly twisted to um, to look like pipe operators in f -sharp. Now, this was drawn by the lovely George. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so he, he takes sure that he's here. But this is a much better photo. Um, so just look at this, he's a very photogenic guy. I like, he's, this is his Twitter thing. So if you want to see more of it, follow him on Twitter. <laughs> and you see the lovely brushing out here at, very artistic <laughs> and that's why he such an artistic guy can come up with something as fabulous <laughs> as this so anyway um, getting into real stuff this is slightly over a month old but only just um, so I thought I would include it because we didn't do this last time there was an F sharp week run by Xamarin um, if you're not is everyone familiar with Xamarin I've got complete no I've got a, a shake that's great so Xamarin is um, was founded by Miguel Diacasa, who was the creator of uh, Mono, which is essentially the cross-platform .NET implementation. So he wrote the CLR um, for the initially on, on Linux and then everywhere. He's brought it to iOS and Android, um, and their company is Xamarin. They have support, they've had You've been able to write F-sharp apps in Xamarin for quite some time, but it is now fully supported. They, it's on their roadmap and um, it's great. So you can write in from the, you know, complete UIs as, as far deep as you would like in F-sharp for iOS, Android and Windows phone if you're into the mobile thing. So that was great. Look into that. There are a couple of blog posts about how to get started with that. So it's very interesting. Just Google that one. Um, or I might, I'll put links on the meetup page afterwards. Um, another um, release was UI.next from WebSharper. WebSharper is a um, web development platform that's in c completely in F-sharp. It allows you to write your web server code and, and provides ways to do that as well as from the client. So you don't write JavaScript, you write F-sharp that um, essentially transpiles, I think is the right term, into JavaScript, but you don't have to worry about it. And you get all the nice things of you know, strong typing and, and good syntax. Um, if you're interested in that sort of thing, check it out. If you want a sort of a lighter weight version of what that's doing, also check out FunScript which goes F-sharp to TypeScript, which then means from TypeScript you can go to JavaScript. 
that's lots of fun too, but it's a new project and you know, you might pull your hair out a little bit trying to get it running. Um, okay, another um, thing that's been floating around, it, it is constantly updated. This one is um, has F-Sharp 3.0, so it's not completely up to date, but it's pretty close. If you're on the leading edge, you might be beyond 3.0, um, but the common stuff is fine. Now, I don't think we have this open in a browser to look at, uh, but you have a you can download um, a PDF version if you want to sort of keep it around and, and look at it. It's um, <coughs> it's good. It just gives you an overview of everything, and you can get that here again. If I see someone writing, I'll pause. I saw it. Yep, I've got <laughs> I've got someone writing, but otherwise it'll be on the um, on the meetup page. Okay, um, another cool thing is um, a, on Stack Overflow chat, there is an F-sharp room and it's pretty popular. This was taken today and you know, we've got people talking about stuff. So if you have some questions, there are people always in there happy to, happy to answer them. And um, one great thing about F-sharp is that the community is very friendly. You can ask them you know, what you might think is a stupid question and you're always treated kindly. In my experience, I ask lots of stupid questions, so that's how I know. Okay, and that's the URL for that, but that's long and too tedious, so you can get it uh, tonight or tomorrow when we put it on there. Now, um, this we might bring up in a browser. Is it still open? Yeah. Um, maybe. So this is um, Reveal.js is a um, JavaScript um, presentation library, so you just write, um, you can write Markdown, and it will um, display that as a presentation <laughs> thing and it's all sort of nifty and has transitions if you're into that sort of a thing. But someone has um, combined that with F-sharp formatting which is <coughs> essentially a way to turn F-sharp um, syntax or code um, into a lovely web presentation which, and that was done by Thomas Petrachek and I will just see if I can just go to, what browser do I use, no. George? Do you want to bring it up? You just, yes. I'll leave it to the guy whose computer it is. Sorry, we are really a very smooth ship ordinarily. <laughs> we just switch computers at the last minute. Yeah, that has a link to it. Yeah. Just up there, yeah. Okay, so here's what it looks like. <coughs> we, um, where is it on Windows? Can we go, I don't get it to go into presentation mode. Oh. I'm a Mac guy. Oh, look at that, this like, this, just a button. <laughs> Mac's got like, <laughs> 40 key presses all at once and you have to do all sorts of twists. So here we go. I'm not going <coughs> to give the presentation, but um, as we go through, you can see it does this tra transition thing and it's all nifty. But when you get here, apparently they just wrote the code and the evaluation just pops out of the bottom. It's very impressive. But on top of that, um, this is what's great. And you can use this on your website is that if people hover over this, especially if you've got a blog or something, it will actually give you the types that are used. So no longer do you have to sit there and go, okay, I can see A there is assigned as an int, so then you know this formula, that type's going to be in that because of the lovely type in inheritance. It will tell you, oh, look, A is an int. And that's fantastic. So um, that's fantastic. Check that out. And... I need help again. Oh, lovely. Here we are. And that's it. Oh, look at that. I didn't <laughs> help. That's how you get there. We had the link all along. So, um, thanks, guys. So, next up, we've got um, George for his lightning talk. <laughs>